All right, so let's talk about dividing fractions. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so when we talk about fra dividing fractions, there is a key vocab word that we need to know and understand, and that is the key vocab word that is pronounced reciprocal. So when we talk about a reciprocal, a reciprocal is just simply a flipped fraction, okay? The way that I like to remember it is that recip rhymes with flip. So reciprocal flipped fraction. We're going to skip this and come back to this part. So when it says name the reciprocal, so I have the fraction two thirds. So remember, a reciprocal is just a flipped fraction. So I'm going to flip the numerator and the denominator. So instead of two thirds, the reciprocal would be three halves. The reciprocal of one fifth would be five over one, which is just simply the number five. Now, the reciprocal of the number eight, okay, in order to flip a fraction, it has to have a numerator and a denominator. So every single whole number in the world has a numerator, or excuse me, has a denominator of one, okay? So if I flip eight over one, it would become one eighth. The reciprocal of one twentieth would be 20 over one, which is just simply 20. And then just straight up the number one, Remember, every whole number has a denominator of one, but the numerator and the denominator are the same, so the reciprocal of one is just still the number one. So let's come back to this part for a second, where it says the product of any number and its reciprocal. So when we talk about product, products are the answer to a multiplication problem. So I'm gonna use uh, example A. I'm gonna use two thirds times three halves. Okay. We know that multiplying fractions ain't no problem. It's the top times the top and the bottom times the bottom. So 2 times 3 would give me 6. 3 times 2 would give me 6. And 6 over 6 simplifies to be one whole. So the product of any number and its reciprocal is just simply the number 1. So our example says to circle each expression that contains a number and its reciprocal. Oh, my fraction line disappeared. So the very first one, I have one-fourth, and the reciprocal of one-fourth would be four, and that's not what I have there, so I can't circle that one. I have the number four, its reciprocal would be one-fourth. I have two-fifths, which reciprocal would be five-halves. Two-thirds, the reciprocal would be three-halves, but this says three-thirds, so I can't simple, or I can't circle that one, but luckily two-thirds times three-halves. Okay, so the reason that we talk about reciprocal so much when we divide fractions um, is because when we divide fractions, we really take advantage of that reciprocal. We need it in order to divide fractions. So I've got a little saying for us. It's dividing fractions is easy as pie. Just flip the second and multiply. So what that means is we are going to take the reciprocal of the second fraction and then multiply it times the first number. So let's see what this looks like in action. So I have my very first problem, which is 2 divided by 1 6. Okay, so I'm going to flip the second. So instead of 1 over 6, it would be 6 over 1 and multiply. So I'm going to change my division to be a multiplication. And notice our rhyme doesn't say anything about the first number. That's because we're going to keep the first number the same. So if it starts with 2, it ends with 2. Okay, now when we multiply again, we have to have a top times the top and the bottom times the bottom. So since 2 is a whole number, it gets a denominator of 1. So I have 2 times 6, which would give me 12. 1 times 1 gives me 1. And then simplify, 12 over 1 just gives me a final answer of 12. So 2 divided by 1 6 gives me an answer of 12. My next problem says I have 1 fifth divided by 1 third. So again, I'm going to leave the first fraction alone. I'm going to flip the second fraction. So instead of 1 third, it becomes 3 over 1. And then I multiply. So I have the top times the top gives me 3. And the bottom times the bottom gives me 5. And I can't simplify 3 fifths. So it's a final answer of three-fifths. All right. Our next one is one-half divided by five. So again, I leave that first fraction alone. 
I'm going to flip the second fraction, find its reciprocal. So remember, 5 is a whole number. It secretly has a denominator of 1. So the reciprocal of 5 would be 1 fifth. And then I change the division to be multiplication. So I have 1 times 1 gives me 1. 2 times 5 gives me 10. So I get 1 tenth. Our next one, 2 thirds divided by 1 third. Keep it as 2 thirds. Flip the second fraction so it becomes 3 over 1, and then multiply. So I can actually cross simplify here. My 3s are both divisible by 3, so 3 divided by 3 becomes 1. So then I have 2 times 1 gives me 2. 1 times 1 gives me 1, which simplifies to be 2. I have 11 divided by 2 fifths. So it's 11, flip the second fraction to be 5 halves, and then change it to a multiplication. So 11 means a denominator of 1. I have 11 times 5 gives me 55. Divide, or excuse me, then 1 times 2 gives me 2. So this right now is an improper fraction. I need to turn it into a mixed number. So I'm going to do this really quickly on the side. So 2 goes into 5 two times. When I subtract, I get 1, bring down the 5. 2 goes into 15 seven times, and I have 1 left over. So I get 27 and 1 half. And then our very last one, 5 6 divided by 7 8. Again, I'm going to leave the first fraction alone, so it stays 5 6. I'm going to flip the second fraction to be 8 7, and I'm going to multiply. So I can simplify 8 and 6. They both have the number 2 in common. So 8 would become 4. 6 would become 3. And then I'm going to multiply. I have 5 times 4 gives me 20. 3 times 7 gives me 21. And I can't simplify, so I get 20, 21.